Hi for day and welcome to GCA Today. My name is Patty Rizoma and I'm with the Guam Contractors Association. I'm also a member of the membership committee and today I'm very honored and pleased to introduce Mr. Donovan Polina. Hello. And he's going to talk to us about <clears throat> Mel Hub. Don, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Patty. I uh, just want to introduce Mel Hub. We're having a grand opening tomorrow mm -hmm. at um, the old GPA building in Harmon. Uh, that's our second location and we offer um, mailing, shipping, and packaging solutions uh, for your needs. Uh, we receive mail, we can send mail. If you want to skip the line at the post office, uh, you can nice. send a package out with us, uh, save you about an hour or so. Um, we could package your goods right in house. Uh, we provide all kinds of packaging and moving materials uh, from free USPS boxes to um, boxes available for purchase uh, to bubble wrap, stretch wrap, packing materials, we have it in-house, uh, in stock available for you. And we could ship uh, pretty much anywhere in the world, you know. So if, if I wanted to sh send a package to uh, a relative in Afghanistan right now, who's deployed, yes. you can do that also? We can do that, yes. Nice. And there, you know, there are certain restrictions with Af Afghanistan, of course. There are weight restrictions yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, certain items you can't send, but we can we can walk you through that process and let you know we can advise you of the best route to take uh, because we have partners in the industry from USPS to DHL, FedEx, UPS, and we can work with all carriers wow. across the board to get your package there in the most efficient manner. That is neat. I mean, you know, you're saying you can cut down the hours at the like at the post office. I was at the post office on Saturday, and I think I was there at nine o'clock. I didn't get out of there until about ten thirty. Yeah. But you know, it's it's it is a nightmare. Yes. But I'm glad you can do that. Are you open seven days a week? We're currently open six days a week. Um, we we give our uh, employees off on Sunday, um, but we are we are working towards expanding our hours to um, to allow better access. Right now, our mailbox holders actually have twenty four hour access. So we have a, a mail room in both of our locations mm -hmm. that uh, if you want to check your mail, it's available 24 hours a day. It's just our office that would be accessible six days a week. Um, and that's, you know, in case you have a package uh, and, you know, we can't fit it in your mailbox and you would need to pick it up at our counter. Yeah, so just like and the post office. Yeah. Just like the post office. And we're actually, we're doing um, six days a week now with that for both locations. Where are your hours for a Saturday? For Saturday, we're doing 10 to 2 now on Saturday. Okay. We're, we're hoping to expand to 9 to 5, uh, but we are open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday. Nice. Um, so, you know, we, we're trying to be as accommodating as possible, and we're working with our customers to see what are the best hours for them. Uh, you know, some of our customers don't get off, you know, and they want to check their mail after work, yes. you know. Yes. So, so we're looking at, at staying open a little bit later, you know, to accommodate that. But... You know, so we're we're doing our best to to try to please everybody. You know? I know. Well, you know what what you said about people coming in after working hours. I think the post office closed at four or at five. Yeah. So when everybody gets off at four or five, they mm -hmm. can't go mail a package or yeah. buy stamps buy or stamps. things like that. Exactly. So this is a need you're filling out. Um, yes. Patty, good. Yes. Where are you located at? Okay, so our, we have a location in uh, the plaza right by Oka Palace. Okay. We're right by the Hairline Salon. Um, and we have a new location up at the old GPA building in Harmon, right near Harmon McDonald's. Um, we partnered. That's a big building. It is a very big building. We actually partnered with GU Self Storage, and we're you know we, we wanted to create a all-in-one business center there, where um, we offer a conference room for people to you know do uh, conduct meetings stuff like that, and uh, you know I invite wow. you and and everybody to come and for our grand opening tomorrow. It's from 10 to 2. Um, and there'll be free refreshments, food and, and drinks. And we can offer you a tour of the facility, um, show you uh, our storage units. We can show you our, our mailboxes, our conference room, our business center. Um, and you know, so we can accommodate the business that's looking to start up on Guam. Um, good, good. You know, like an incubator type office yes. where, that's you hard. know, maybe they can't afford a warehouse right away. Um, come in and see us and we can we can be that that desk away from your office or you know um, that business center when you're traveling you know uh, so that that would be our target is to allow 
um, for the best possible value for our, our tenants and our customers. I think that's very important. You're talking about value, and that is very, very much needed right now. If I were to mail a package through you to, as an example, Las Vegas, is the mailing time the same as if you were to go to the post office? It is. It is the same. Uh, and, of course, the convenience is, uh, you know, it, it's actually the price is very similar to uh -huh. what the, you would be charged at USPS. So, as an example, for our flat rate boxes, we probably charge no more than $3 on top of what you would pay at USPS. Okay. So, for, you know, you got to decide is your convenience, your hour and a half that you spent yeah. at the post office, is it worth that $3? And I think it is, yeah. you know, I mean, most people Time get paid more. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Have you seen like an influx of, of companies coming to you? Uh, well, we have um, we have different companies that bring in um, you know stuff through the USPS that we we accommodate, um, and a lot of them are leaning towards our other service, which is called shopthe48.com. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, and so um, I don't know if you heard about it, but what we do is. Um, we provide a solution for people shopping online in the U.S. Uh, if you shop online at any of the U.S. retailers, um, and you may have run into a problem where they don't ship to Guam. Yeah, yeah. And so what we do is we provide you with the Portland address, and so you can shop at any online retailer and still have it shipped to Guam. Um, and that's a service that we provide with Melhub, and it's a growing service. Uh, people are, are approach me all the time about how happy they are that something like this is available. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and so essentially you sign up with us at shopthe48.com. You, you know, give a couple of pieces of information. And what we do is we keep your information in a database and provide you with a, a Portland address so that you can use it to shop online. So you would basically send it to your name at, at uh, the Portland address we provide. And when it does arrive in Portland, we notify you via email. And you, you can accept the charges and we can mail it right away. We actually nice. fly it out on an aircraft um, twice a week. So we have twice weekly shipments um, with all the delays that could be accounted for. Uh, shipping time is probably about three to eight days at the That's most. That's not bad. Not That's bad, not at, bad all. at all. Yeah. Because normally what I would do is I would have to ship it to a relative a out relative, there and then yeah. the relative would ship it to us. That is a need. I mean, you know, it, it's got a lot of people who try to shop online yeah. and to get that comment, you know, we're not shipped to Guam. Yes. It irritates people. So yes. You know, why? You know? It is very frustrating. And, you know, that's, I, I personally have gone through that many times where you get to the end of your yeah. your shopping experience. Great, and great, great the value. Yeah. You, can't you do enter it. Yeah. everything and then you finally find out they don't ship to Guam. So, you know, out of that frustration arose this, you know, um, endeavor yeah. and and yeah and so we we actually have partners in portland that you know we've we've flown out there they've come out here and we you know we built this thing together and um so we have boots on guam and yeah. in portland so it's you know it's good service um and you can track your package at any time with us i think you're the first one in guam with that i think so yeah, yeah. good job yeah very good job Thank you. You have to toot your horn here. Again. No, no. <laughs> good. We'll see good. how it works. I mean, you know, I, I know you were introduced into the Guam Contractors membership a couple of months ago, and I'm impressed. I think you made a difference with Thank that. You. And it's, it's going to help not just the private consumer, but also companies. Yes. You know, the more you tell them about that, I think your lead is, is that Shop 48. Yes. Very, very much. Donovan, welcome. Thank it's been you. great, and I know your service will be very much a success. I appreciate it, Patty. Look Thank you. To everything. All right. Thank you. That was GTA Today. I'll see you next week.